today we're going to do some gardening. Woofy is ready. Hey Woof, Woofy, are you ready? You ready to do some gardening? Yeah? Yeah, she's ready. Okay, so this is a witch hazel tree. And every year I say to myself, we're going to make some witch hazel lotion or something using this witch hazel. And I haven't done it yet, so maybe we'll do that this year. Also, every year I think the tree is dying. <laughs> but no, it's just losing its leaves because it's fall time. We need to fix the trails because when the dogs run through here, they kick the rocks around. So one of the things we're going to do is fix these rocks. There are the little offenders right there. There's a fender number one. There's a fender number one. So we're gonna fix that because it really does look really lovely when all of these are fixed. This is one of my camellia trees. The grounds are covered with camellia trees. They're supposed to be bushes, but here in Newport, lovely, lovely Newport, they become trees. And this will be covered in blooms and it's gonna be so beautiful. This year I trimmed it um, I gave it quite a big haircut because it did go all the way down to the ground But once it was done blooming and it was time I cut it back now because I did that look at all the wonderful wonderful buds coming out Camellia trees really love to be groomed and Once I trim it back every year it makes the most beautiful blossoms it just loves it. You can see there are several trees here together. And so this one is a darker pink and this is white. Um, and then on the other side, I think they're light pink. I'm not quite sure. This camellia tree makes white and red peppermint swirl type flowers. But then every once in a while, there'll be just one pure white and then one pure red and it looks really cool. So. We will have to see those later. I didn't really trim this one this year because it didn't really need it, but it's still gonna make really beautiful blossoms. One of the things we need to do is take all of this ivy off of this beautiful, beautiful tree because it is just killing it. We've been slowly taking the ivy off of some of our trees and I'm going to show you some of the different stages of ivy dying on a tree. So this is our largest tree. This is the largest, biggest tree in storybook. And we've just cut the ivy from the roots all the way around the tree. And as you can see, it's starting to die and starting to get a little bit droopy. It takes a longer time in the winter time for the ivy to completely die off the tree because you still have so much moisture in the air. But if you see down at the base, the ivy's dying down. So we're going to uh, wait for that to fall off as opposed to pulling it off because if you start pulling the ivy off of the tree, it takes the bark with it. Um, but if you let it just fall off naturally, it doesn't damage the tree and you know, all you have to do is wait. So it's not that big of a deal. I'm just glad that the tree is going to be a lot healthier now. We took a lot of the ivy off of this tree and as you can see, it's completely brown and dying off. Now we're not going to pull it off. We're going to let it just die off of the tree because you don't want to be breathing in all that dust and it's fine to let it just drop off of the tree naturally. This tree right here was covered in ivy. You can still see the skeleton of the old ivy and it's completely better now. First, we have to rake the trail.
Okay, this definitely looks a lot better. Obviously, we need something down, either a moss or pavers or something, um, or even some more bark chips, which was what was originally here. But for now, I think it's really good. Now it looks nice and neat. One of my next tasks is to clean up this bed and maybe put some flowers in here and just fix it up in general. And then over here as well, it needs to have something here besides what's already here. And I don't even know what this is. This was here when I bought the house. Uh, it looks like it's a sprinkler system of some sort, but I don't think it's actually in the ground. Let's see. Oh snap, it's actually in the ground. Okay, so I don't think we can move that. Or maybe it's just so old that it's, oh no, that's a pipe sticking up. Okay, well, we'll have to work around that until I can find someone to take it out or fix it. But uh, yeah, so that's what that is. Otherwise, we have a nice little border again. But we have so much more to do. I have a lot of trails to clean up in my estate. Storybook has a lot of trails. There are so many trails that it's really hard to keep up with them. I think we can do it, YouTube. What do you think? I think if we really try, we can. 